Hello, my dear old students. <clears throat> I hope all of you are doing well. This is our fifth week of this semester. And in this week, I would like to discuss about Newton's forward interpolation <clears throat> and the algorithm as well as the programs of Newton's forward interpolation. You all already know that we do our programs in this course by using C programming. You can use any type of platform like CodeBlock or NetBeans or as your wish. Okay, now let's start. At first, I would like to discuss about the algorithm of Newton's forward interpolation. As you know that, at first we need to start our program, we have to input some values of x, y and total number of values. That means how many values actually we want to put. So we uh, we have to input the total number of values which is denoted by n. Then calculate the differentiation difference table for forward interpolation which already you all know uh, from your theory course which I already discussed. Then enter the value of x for uh, and the value of y or uh, value of y then and calculate u and calculate the forward interpolation equation then uh, stop the program this is a very simple algorithm and i hope you already understand what actually i want to say now let's go to our next slide okay, now uh, there is a question is given here for all of you. You can see that the question uh, give that uh, there are two rows uh, where one row mentions the year and the other row mention the population of a particular town or a particular city of a specific year and the population's unit is thousand. You have to find out the population of the year 1895 by using Newton's forward interpolation. This is a question uh, for you, which I already, this similar question I have already solved in theory session or theory class. And this problem, same problem I put here, this is because uh, you already familiar with this problem and you solve this by using C programming. Okay, now let's start. For C programming, you have to write header files which are include stdio.h and include math.h and the significance of these two uh, header files you already know. Now there is a function declared here, which is fact. Fact, actually these functions elaboration is factorial. This function returns an integer value, which is the factorial value <coughs> of the given equation. Okay, for, this count, for the counting of the factorial value, uh, you have to write a for loop, which is uh, executes until uh, total number of input values. Okay, uh, this factorial counting equation is very simple, which is a factor uh, f into i. i means the iteration value and f <coughs> it means the initial value of f. And for counting the factorial value, we have to initialize um, the function f is one. Uh, we can and uh, after calculating um, the value we can uh, you have to read you can return a integer value okay now go to our next slide where you can see that uh, a two-dimensional uh, float 
variable is declared here then uh, um, some other variables which are x y h u you already know what's the significance of x y h and u okay now at first you have to input how many that is you actually want to take then um, take the other two values that means the value of x and the value of y and you uh, need to or you have to input this in a two-dimensional array so that you can calculate easily okay now let's uh, go to our next slide for creating the difference table you have to write two loop this is because the uh, as this is a two-dimensional array so we uh, need to write the uh, two for loops for creating the difference table then uh, you have to calculate the difference that means h what is the value of h so uh, for this calculation at first we need to take the value of x for the counting um, counting h uh, okay uh, sorry counting uh, u uh, for this re uh, reason I put here the value of x and calculated easily uh, the difference that means h and u uh, now uh, our work is that uh, we put all the values in our forward differentiation Newton's forward differentiation equation and finally we can get our desired result Okay. Mm. okay now uh, there is a function you can see that uh, which is fact which is fact okay now um, you can see that uh, the output uh, which is given here and uh, this output uh, actually got uh, from after the execution of the program okay thank you all um, uh, and thank you for your patience please try to join the live session so that you can understand easily and if you have any query or if you face any difficulties please let me know through e-learning where there is a message option okay thank you all